during high school and once I got out of high school, I kind of just was going through the motions of life. You know, I was working a job I didn't enjoy and all I would do is work that job and then go home and just like hang out by myself in my room or, you know, at my house. That's all I would do. I wasn't really working out. I would go to the gym a few times a week. Nothing serious though. You know, I didn't hang out with many friends or anything. And I was just going through the motions of life, not really knowing what I wanted to do. You know, I had bad habits as well. I wasn't eating correctly. I was just kind of eating anything that I felt like eating at the moment. You know, I was occasionally like watching porn and jerking off and doing bad habits like that. I wasn't taking any drugs or anything, but I was just being really lazy. And I had a bad habit of being lazy and not pushing myself and figuring out ways that I can be better every single day. The moral of the story, I wasn't taking control of my life. I wasn't doing things necessary to help propel me in a forward direction. Instead, I was just staying at a stagnant spot and not propelling forward and, you know, risking the chance of like going even farther backwards in life. So that's kind of what we're going to talk about today is taking back some control in your life. If you guys are going through something or you don't really know where you want to be or what you want to do. I had those same feelings and I don't have it all figured out now, but I've realized what it means to take control of your life and work towards something that you are passionate about or that you want to do. And also just work towards bettering yourself every day. Big thing for me was I had bad habits. You guys might be having some bad habits as well. So we need to change the habits that we're doing. If we're you know, not exercising, if we're just chilling out every day, not doing anything, if we're watching porn, jerking off, if we're fantasizing about all these women, you know, if we're not reading books and we're just playing video games all the time, watching Netflix, watching TV, whatever it is, these are all bad habits that our future self is going to hate us for. Like this, doing these things aren't giving us any productivity or any sense of accomplishment or any challenge in our life to push us and reach our full potential. So we need to look at what our daily habits are. You know, if you are going to the gym, great. That's awesome. Keep going to the gym, but build on that. What other good habits can you incorporate into your life to flush out all those bad habits? And that was something that I had to realize that I was doing wrong when I finally wanted to take control of my life and build something in my life. Can't be sucked into our phones either. This is something that I struggled with so much and on occasion I'll struggle with again, but it's really helped since I deleted social media. And that's the thing, that's what gets us sucked in. It's That's what it's meant to do. You know, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, well X now I think, but X, Twitter, whatever, you know, Snapchat, that's all meant to keep us sucked into our phone and keep us from becoming the best version of ourselves. Because I used to go scroll on Instagram and I would waste, like I'd look up at the time or I'd look at the time on my phone or just finally get off my phone and hours have passed. I've wasted two to three hours just scrolling mindlessly on my phone looking at all these things. And that boredom doing that would turn into going on Pornhub and jerking off. That's what it does. It just, it, we're bored when we do that and it keeps us sucked in. And when I finally deleted TikTok and Instagram and all those, I didn't have the, like, I just was putting my energy towards other things because I didn't really have anything on my phone to scroll through. I've said this before too, if you're not gonna delete the apps, put a timer on the apps, like an hour a day, whatever it is. Put that timer on so when that timer's finished, you can't go on it again for the rest of the day. And you can put that energy towards something more productive and something that you're passionate about or you know that you want to build and things that you want to do or read a book something other than being sucked into our phone because there's almost nothing worse than just sitting on the couch or sitting on your bed and just mindlessly scrolling and then you wasted four three hours whatever it may be and every time that i did that i was just feeling like a loser and i was like damn i really just wasted you know four hours three hours just sitting here on my phone being sucked into the screen and literally like if you think about it you know you're sucked in you're like this right you're hardly blinking sometimes and it's like you get 
memorized in the screen and it's just not good for like your eyes either and especially your brain and all the stuff the negative things that you see on social media we have to replace that with doing things that we enjoy whatever it is that you guys enjoy if you enjoy exercising you know keep exercising if you haven't started going to the gym start going to the gym it doesn't have to be crazy when you're starting off but start building a habit of going to the gym and committing to that habit and that habit will grow more consistently. Find things that you're passionate about. You know, maybe you wanna start a YouTube channel. Maybe you wanna start a business. Maybe you wanna learn how to make passive income, whatever it is. Start learning, start figuring out ways that you can do those things. Put that energy towards that instead of being on your phone or doing something negative. Put your focus on that Find the things that you are passionate about. You know, whatever it is also that you guys enjoy doing. Maybe you enjoy hanging out with friends. Go hang out with your friends, you know, as long you're not going drinking alcohol and getting, you know, doing bad habits like that. I've always really enjoyed exercising, so that was, you know, an easy thing for me to do. That was a good outlet. You know, and basketball, I would always just go shoot around by myself when I was bored. Be outside, you know, get away from the phone, especially more once I started getting away from my phone. I would do things like that. If you enjoy going for bike rides or going for walks or just doing something, if you enjoy cooking, go go cook something, right? Go learn how to be a better cook. Go learn new dishes that you can cook, whatever it is, something that you enjoy that's a more positive habit than these negative habits to substitute those bad habits with these positive ones, it's gonna help you flush those out and start becoming a better person. But when you guys are passionate about something, and the more you do things you enjoy, you'll really find out what you're passionate about, especially when you try new things. And maybe one day, you know, you keep learning and keep working towards that passion, you'll be able to grow it into something that you can do for your career. You know, I'm passionate about making YouTube videos. This is what I enjoy doing. It's not the only thing I'm doing right now because I'm not making money off this or anything, but I'm trying to grow this and I'm passionate about it and it's something that I want to do. So I'm doing this plus other things as well. And that's the same exact thing for whatever you guys want to do. Nothing's going to come like that. Or if you start a passion that you want to build, it's not going to happen the next day. It's going to take constant. It's a grind. It's going to take a grind every single day. And there's going to be struggles and coming through those struggles and overcoming all the challenges that are gonna come with it. That's how you'll get to that point. Really taking control of our life also means letting go of past mistakes, letting go of failures that you have you may have had with previous jobs or you know, like relationships, anything. Maybe you had a failed friendship, whatever it is, just letting that stuff go. Cause it's in the past. And like we can't rewind back to those moments. I've always wished we could years ago. I wish I could, I don't wish now, but years ago I wished I could rewind to one of my relationships and have that work out. But no, that's not how life works. We gotta keep moving forward no matter what. We just gotta keep pushing ourselves forward, letting the past weigh us down because the past is like someone holding you, like you're wrapped, you have a chain wrapped around you and someone's holding you and trying to pull you back, right back into that past and keep you from moving forward. That's exactly how it is, because I've felt it. I've been there. I've done all that. I've gone and looked back on the past and wish I could change things or wish things were different. Instead of just letting go and accepting whatever was back then, no matter what it is, relationship, friendship, a mistake you made or something with a job or you know something you wish you could have done better, doesn't matter what it is. Everything is holding you back, but we got to just keep moving forward and let all that stuff be how it is and just accept it and move on. Focus on the present and you know a little bit on the future. Don't get too far ahead of yourself because we got to focus on the day right now that we're in to help us propel to the future. So it's really just about letting go of any past things that are holding you guys back. It's a really good feeling when you take control of your life also. You know I've decided to take control you know for a little over two years now and it feels really good. Has it always been easy or have I kind of reverted back to my past self at moments? Yeah, of course I have. But when I did that, 
I was realizing like, hey, can't be doing this. I got to keep moving forward. I got to do the things that I need to do every day to help me reach where I want to be. So you're going to have moments where you're going to revert back to your past self. You're going to think back to past moments and you're going to get wrapped up in that. You're going to do bad habits for a moment, but don't get wrapped up in that. Don't let that, like, don't beat yourself up about that. That's going to happen. It's fine. But if we can wash that away, brush that off our shoulder and remember, like pick ourselves back up again and remember what we want to do, what we're trying to accomplish and where we want to go, then that's fine because those moments are going to come. But that's part of the grind. That's part of the struggle. Like I've said before, life is meant to throw things in our life that's going to challenge us, make us stress, you know, give us a reason to, you know, want to quit. But when the quitters quit, they, you know, they fall behind. And when the winners don't quit and we keep moving forward, even if we have a moment where we struggle, we're going to reach the top one day. But it's a never ending mountain that we're climbing because nobody's perfect, but every day we can strive to be better and better and better and learn and find new things that we can bring into our life for the better. So just take control of your life, guys. If you are not taking control right now, if life is controlling you, switch it around. Look yourself in the mirror. It's a real thing. There have been times I just stare myself in the mirror and, you know, I ask myself what I want or how can I be better? Is this really the best version of you? You know, do I believe in myself? When you guys believe in yourself, you can do anything, like actually anything. It doesn't matter. Who cares what people say? Just believe in yourself. It's a real thing and you can get yourself fired up. You don't need to go watch all these motivational videos while those are good, but they only get you motivated for the moment. But that constant belief in yourself is just going to propel you every day forward. So if you guys did enjoy, drop a like on the video. My email is in the description below in case any of you want to reach out to me there. And this was Jordan. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.